A while ago, in an episode of Weapon Comparisons, I compared the SG-553 and the AK-47, and at the time it made sense to compare them, as the T-side doesn't have an interchangeable main rifle like the M4s. So it was a good way to bring that type of discussion to the T-side weapons. In that video, I concluded that the SG-553 was made to be a side grade in its current state, a slower firing, more effective at long distances T-side rifle to complement a very specific playstyle. For some people, it would work great, and for others, not so much, but I argued that because of this, it should be lowered in price. The current price being $300 more than the AK makes it so that it's expected to be a straight upgrade, and to be fair, it used to be. Back when it had an insanely high fire rate, it was basically just a beefed up AK, but now the price has been raised, and the weapon itself has been nerfed, so it's a lot more complicated to compare the two rifles than I may have initially thought, but we're going to take another crack at it today. Mainly focusing on the SG though, as we already know a lot about the AK-47. But what you might not know a lot about is today's sponsor. Whoops, there actually isn't a sponsor for today, so instead I'm promoting my channel. Subscribe and become a member to use some pictures of my face as emojis in my comments, or just watch the video. It's cool. Anyways, back to the video. The SG-553, the long-hated, shortly-loved brother of the AK, has been a staple of visible noobness since the inception of CSGO. Basically, if you use the AK, you can play the game. If you so much as misclicked and pulled out an SG, you've now been permanently labeled as a COD player, a noob, a shithead, or worse. But is this slander justified? Well, not really, and to be honest, it never really has been justified. Sure, before the price cut it would be seen as non-meta, but is non-meta automatically bad? No but many seem to want to make it seem like that. The stigma that the scoped rifles came with made it so that their true potential wasn't fully realized until it was too late. Valve was sick and tired of not seeing their work put into these guns pay off by seeing them being played with in majors, so they went full on bonkers and slashed the prices of these things almost to the point of ridiculousness. I remember the little stint of the $2750 SG and $3150 AUGs. It was a no-brainer. If you had enough money, just get the better alternative. $50 for a scope would be good, let alone for higher damage and superior accuracy. But it was too much. They were automatically labeled as OP, nonsensically removing the purpose of some of the most beloved rifles in the game for far better counterparts, which virtually cost the same. And now here we are today. Look at what we've done to these poor rifles, particularly the SG. Now, apparently the AUG was also nerfed, but honestly the only thing that really felt like it was changed was the price. So we don't really look at the AUG much here. The SG-553 pre-nerf felt like a snappy, consistent, long-range machine that was a great pairing of accuracy, damage, armor penetration, and fire rate. It was versatile and satisfying, so what's it like now? Well. It shoots a lot slower, over 100 RPM slower to be exact, which is a pretty huge difference, and makes the weapon feel a lot more sluggish and unreliable. This is probably my least favorite part of the nerf, as it fundamentally changed how the weapon feels and works. The recoil pattern is weird to control with the slow fire rate, and I remember I had to completely relearn the weapon post-nerf. On the other hand, what are some of the upsides of the weapon in its current state? Well, it's one of the most accurate weapons in the game, beating out the AK and M4s in standing and crouching accuracy, and it gets even better when you scope in. That's right, something that doesn't really get talked about much is that when scoping in with the SG, it actually does something. It zooms in a little bit, and adds a lot of accuracy to the weapon, which is part of the reason why it's so good at long range. It also has the highest armor penetration in the game, at 100%, and although it has lower damage than its Kalashnikov counterpart, it basically removes the purpose of armor for people shot by it. It does the exact same damage whether you're wearing armor or not. This also makes it so that you can one-hit headshot helmeted opponents at the farthest range of any rifle. Going back to the scope for a second, it also cuts the recoil in half, which might not always come into play but is definitely worth mentioning. The scope can be really useful, and is one of my favorite video game reticles, but I see people using it in really stupid ways. Stupid way number A, not using it at all. You'll see many medium level players using the SG basically as if it were a worse AK, not even thinking about pressing down mouse too. Look, sometimes I underutilize the scope, but man, there's a difference between barely using it and straight up not using it at all. I think this is partly because they don't want to be labeled as a noob by using it, but at that point, just go the whole way and buy an AK. Stupid way number two. Using it way too much. These guys scope into peaks, they scope around corners, they scope around lower tunnels, it's just ridiculous. First of all, scoping and moving is grossly slow, and second of all, you just look dumb. You don't need to scope when you're right in front of your enemy. You probably won't even see them sneaking up on you because of the limited visibility when scoping. And finally, stupid way number four. The actual COD noob. These players are the ones that started the stereotype. 
They found Counter-Strike like a week ago and somehow miraculously landed in a face-it lobby. They hate that there's no iron sights and they think they're missing the sprint bind, but they found a gun that sort of kind of feels like home, so they'll constantly scope and unscope, giving away your position and pissing you off. So to all who do these things, for the sake of everyone else, please stop. Okay, well, what have we learned? Well, the SG is a complicated mess of a weapon in its current state, but what could be changed about it to restore some of the faith it once had? Well, in the last video that I talked about this weapon, I talked about something we only graced on so far, price. The SG-553 nerf not only made the weapon itself worse, but also brought the price back up, something that I think makes a double negative, and at this point, I'm not sure how Valve saw that as a good way to balance this weapon, more as a way to downright kill it. It just doesn't deliver $300 more value than the AK. If anything, the same or even slightly less. But I think that it deserves more than just a price cut. Now that CS2 will make players choose only a few distinct weapons to purchase, the SG will really need more of a reason than ever if it has a chance of even being seen on the average server. It either needs to more heavily lean into its strengths, possibly giving it higher damage so that it can 3-shot body shot again or a higher fire rate, just something to make it stand out. Or it needs to cut price either to match or beat the AK-47 or both. Really, I'm just worried for the future of the SG, and indeed the AUG, but that's something for another video. As cool as this new buy menu seems, I think that for players like me who like messing around with different weapons on occasion, it will make for a much more boring time playing the game. There really won't be a reason to use any alternatives to meta weapons, and the criticism from teammates will only become more prevalent as a result of this new system. I like the SG, I like the playstyle that allows it to work, but I just can't see myself justifying selecting it when CS2 finally comes out. But what do you think? Does it really need a buff? Are you glad to see it in its current state? What would you do, if anything, to improve it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Have a great night, and as always, bye.